Welcome, my name is Dr. Damian Thompson of Frontline Farming. And I am Jocelyn Logis of Frontline Farming. And welcome to the Offbeat Art Tour. We're here at the Revision Art Exhibit. And you can't see it, but just over my shoulder is a perfectly um, intact piece of, of China that basically says, long live the Republic of Colombia. And so one of the things that you recognize, obviously, is over the course of the piece, the plate in each sub subsequent um, photo is smashed and smashed. And so you'll notice on my other, over my other shoulder, right, exploration and exploitation. What this piece represents for me is you start out with Bolivar's vision, right, for Colombia, which is this, you know, really kind of beautiful and I'm sure very ornate and elaborate way that he wanted to think about the country itself and his, his fellow countrymen, and then also, you know, the idea of maybe even democracy. And so having, through exploitation, continued colonialism, like his dream continued to be smashed and smashed until you ultimately get to the final picture, which is both the platter itself in dust, but then also is very indicative and, and symbolizes cocaine, which is the thing now that Colombia has been known more for, say, in the past 20 or 25 years, even more so than Bolivar's um, original kind of intent and idea. Takes me back to Bolivar, Shimon Bolivar, and thinking about, you know, who he was, like as a person, as an individual, not only did he liberate Colombia, he liberated Venezuela, Panama, Ecuador, liberated in total of six countries. So he himself had this vision of a unified South America, how we have the unified States of America, well, the United States of America, he was thinking of more of like a unification of that. But through geopolitical times, different powers at play, you know, that vision over time got segmented, 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 broken down to where we start to see like really the effects on society, which I really feel is kind of like in these pieces over here where you really start to see the breakdown of people and just like values, morals, like the kind of like enslavement of people, as well in terms of like the farmers out there who are farming the cocoa fields, you know? Working to live, not living to work. And then just kind of, just breaking it down from the ghettos, how the cocaine and the drugs affect the ghetto, you know, and the people within that, you know? And how it just kind of like comes all the way down to get to this fine, crystally powder at the end these pieces are like, you know, just floating out there in space. You know, and look at a whole nother kind of like level. You just see like, you know, the cosmos, the formation of the cars, cosmos, the big bang, like bang, boom, 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 psh, into millions and millions of particles. And like, you know, just love the way that the artist kind of like uses those fragments of the broken plate, but you also see like the just different histories and cultures of like time and existence throughout that. Cause it's almost like an explosion. Right? Because it's like you have the plate, then there's the explosion. Exactly. And the big bang. And then it all comes back together. Right? And even that, like, even that mound of cocaine is a lot, like, more neat and orderly. Mm -hmm. Like, than even all of these images. Mm -hmm. 